Dwango AC and the rest of his Taskbot, the couch for Tetris run by Taskbot. Hello everyone, I am Dwango AC. You are here for the SGDQ 2019 Taskbot block. We have a lot of fun things for you. There's a little bit of housekeeping business because uh, as many years as we've been doing this, and this is actually the 12th GDQ event I've been at between Harvey Relief and all the other ones. It's just crazy how fast it's been. Um, so some things have changed. We actually have a case for Taskbot. It's actually nice. This is a new replay device made by someone in our community named Onosaurus. It's a TASTM32 board. You can find out more about the hardware and a lot of the other things that happen. Go to discord.task.bot for more information about that. Our community will fill you in. Yeah, the We're going that too. Yes, yeah, I'm sure. So this is a real Unmodified other than video signal console. This is a uh, US top loader that's been NES RGB modded, but it is otherwise completely generic. We're using a cable connected directly to the controller port, and you're about to see some really fun stuff. With me on the couch, I have GlitchCat7. You'll know him from other random things he plays. A lot of other random things. And even though he's sitting on my left, this is Media Magnet. He is my right-hand man in all things Task.bot on the website and maintaining the servers and helping Discord not be disastrous. So he's also a, a casual player, I guess you'd say? Yes, very. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we have three separate things to show you for Tetris. I'm going to get it started with what we call Mode B, and I'm going to let GlitchCat take over from here. GlitchCat7, we are ready to go. Three, two, one, go. All right, well, don't blink. This is going to go really, really quick. This is Mode B. And in this mode, you are given some garbage blocks to start out with. This is being played on level 19, the fastest, technically the fastest speed. And uh, Taskbot's is going to be clearing a requisite number of lines here very, very quickly. And uh, you only you don't have to get everything clear in mode B. You only have to clear the certain number of lines. So this is, I think, the highest height that you could have and the fastest speed, meaning that it is the most optimal for going really, really quickly. And I'm pretty sure, oh, do we, no, yeah, you're clearing. Yeah, he's going to be clearing out everything. And look at that. Really fast. I, I got to tell you, my childhood didn't look like that. <laughs> So the next one we're going to do is the fastest to the highest score that can display, which is 999999. Nine, 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 nine. uh, how many nines? Anyway. Six of them. We're going to turn that off. And here we go. I love that fast start, you menu, super fast menuing. So the first thing you're going to see Taskbot do here is stack blocks all the way up to the top. It's going to take the blocks falling down less time to reach the stack, obviously, and so these Tetrises can be completed faster. Now you might notice that they're using these L pieces, and when they do that, it actually sort of, because of the wraparound, it's taking one off the bottom. So they are getting credit for four lines or a Tetris just by using those L pieces. And uh, some of the RNG here is being manipulated through pause buffering. The RNG in NES Tetris is notoriously really tough to deal with, and so they can kind of get around that by pause buffering a little bit. But um, normally you, you shouldn't be able to get pieces to the extreme left or right side like this very quickly, but um, there's a technique called hyper tapping, which is to tap out each individual input uh, to move for each sequential uh, row. And uh, if you look at the controller that Taskbot is lighting up there. Made by Micro 500. We call this a visualization board. <laughs> You'll see that the, uh, the light for the controller is pulsing really quickly. So just imagine an RTA player actually physically pressing all of those. And uh, that's kind of why this is impossible. So the game here, obviously, is to just get all Tetrises, which would be optimal speed um, you want. <laughs> I love it. You know, I've, I've spent years trying to get this score, and Taskbot's going to do it really quickly. I'd like to take your note to the, the statistics. You'll see that there's a rather substantial imbalance growing. Yeah, those S pieces are just hard to work with in general. So we're coming up on, uh, pretty soon it'll start to flip. Um, the speed will increase a little bit more. That's no trouble for Taskbot. That's going to roll over at 
130 lines, and at that point, it's going to be on level 19, which is the fastest speed that the devs thought humans could deal with, and the pieces will be falling as if you were constantly holding down. Um, there is no hard drop, uh, for example, in this game. It's just holding down will make them fall a little bit faster. This game, on the NES version, does have a, a dev-intended kill screen. At level 29, the speed will increase again, um, and most human max outs have to get close to that because they are obviously can't get Tetrises all the time. But since Taskbot can, um, they're going to max it out at a very early level. So here we've got the flip over to 19, and if you notice, things are moving a little bit faster. <laughs> There have been 39, if, my, if, the, if I did my research correctly, 39 uh, players who have done this score, RTA, uh, but certainly not, not this fast. And, and probably even, not at level 23 either. No, definitely not. There's even a smaller handful of people who have made it past the kill screen. <laughs> yeah, it is possible to play after the kill screen, but it requires just extreme precision and hyper-tapping, and even the best can only survive for so long. Yeah, this game is hard. It's ruthless. And that's it. <laughs> oh, I love that. That's a beautiful sight. But we're not done. So real quick on that one, the total high score, because there's a Game Genie code out there, is 1,017,801 is what he actually made it to. <laughs> OK. So we're going to move on to something that I like doing every once in a while, which is surprising someone on the couch. This is a time-honored tradition. We sort of did that to Covert Muffin last year for Celeste. It, it ended with a lot of hilarity and a lot of laughter. Uh, so we're going to see how this works out. This is a play around, and here goes. So it'll look kind of familiar to the, uh, as he builds up, the secret grade in uh, TGM, but it's uh, slightly different. So there's a lot of planning that goes into this, too. <laughs> Just to behind the scenes to get, get the right pieces in the right order and make these configurations. Yeah, there's no T-spin in this. I think you, uh, you can T-spin, it just yeah. will give you extra points. Yeah, you just not, yeah, just not ordered a bonus. He's already laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I have spent so much of my life trying to get good at this game, and Taskbot's just making me look like a chump, man. <laughs> <laughs> so credit here goes to Baxter and ACMLM, who are the authors of these two tasks. This particular one was made by Baxter. The previous one you saw was made by ACMLM. Uh, and and Mode 9 was also made by, by Baxter. These are... <laughs> that was a face, Mode wasn't B. it? <laughs> yeah. I think that was a face. It was definitely a face. <laughs> <laughs> These are on tasvideos.org. I am the ambassador for Task Videos on site staff and would welcome you to come to tasvideos.org to see more runs just like this. <laughs> when they, they like unnecessarily rotate the pieces on the way down and it's so fast that it just vibrates. <laughs> <laughs> like there's really no need to do that. You know, they can just rotate it once, but you have that extra time, so just more inputs. Yep. I also like how the um, all the colors are arranged properly. So not only are the uh, little diagonals lined up, but the colors are all nice, even stripes. <laughs> Wait, don't. It's not safe. You're too close to the tops. <laughs> Does this make you nervous? <laughs> I got I to gotta trust that Taskbot knows what he's doing here. <laughs> Oh, how's he ever going to get out of this? <laughs> ah, <he's just> <laughs> <laughs> Pay attention to the controller. The visualization board made by Micro 500 was going crazy, and that is the name of Baxter. That's the person who made this dual-assisted speedrun. I regret to say that's all the more Tetris we have for you today, but I hope you had your fill. It was great watching this. Stay tuned for Mario Kart Wii Next. All right, guys, I told you to get ready, and you stepped up. You've donated $30,000 accumulative during that Tetris segment. 
Keep it going and we will definitely make it to Celeste. We did ask for a train and we got a bit of a train going, so I'm gonna blast through some of these $5 donations. Lily Pie says, $5 coming through, choo-choo. Wesley149 says, please Celeste, get. Sinless Pass says, $5 for Celeste? Let's make it happen. Taskbot Hype. A Nanny Mouse says, Five, $5 train, giving up my fancy coffee tomorrow and using the money for ta Celeste Tass and said, do the same. Conductor Taskbot says, train now boarding from platform five. Train now boarding for Celeste Mountain. Thank you very much, all of you and everyone else who's donating $5 right now. We are getting a ton of them. It helps so much. We've got a couple other donations ranging from small ones like this $20 that says, happy to support such a great cause. Keep up the good work. Here's my show of support from Jamie203. Thank you so much to a $5,000 donation. <laughs> Thank you so much for your generous donation, Michael. He says, Celeste has a special place in my heart and task runs are always breathtaking. Let's make it happen. Well, I also have $1,000 from Potch221. And they say, a berry a day keeps the existential crisis while climbing a mountain away. So thank you very much, everyone who's donating for Celeste Tass. We've just jumped up a couple more thousand just while I'm talking. Keep it rolling, because I'm telling you, when this Mario Kart Tass starts, you're going to be watching, and it's going to be hard to tear your attention away to donate. So we need to push for this now before we move on to this Mario Kart Tass. It is amazing. You guys are going to love it. But while they finish up getting set up, we are going to play a quick Twitch ad. Keep sending those donations in, and I'll be back to help keep you up to date on how this is going right after this. All right, welcome back everyone. And I'm here to tell you we are over $160,000. Out of the 175 needed, we are less than 15,000 away. Let's keep this rolling. And I would do want to say a big thank you to Fangamer, one of our sponsors, who's donated $2,000. And they say, we're excited to see what the TaskBot team has in store for us this year. Did you know that the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog is an anagram of TaskBot? Well, only after TaskBot overflows the anagram buffer and begins arbitrary code ex execution. Keep those donations coming, everybody. We all want to see that Celeste TaskBot run. I have $25 from an anonymous donor who simply says, let's get to the top of Celeste Mountain. And how right you are, you're going to enjoy it once we meet that donation incentive. We are so close. Uh, and I have another anonymous donation, this one for $40, saying task block is one of my favorite parts of GDQ. I am donating what I can to get more tasks. And you all should keep donating for our glorious task bot overlord. I have another anonymous donation for $725.70. 
Thank you so much for your generous donation. And they say, love Tasses and especially love Celeste Tass. Let's see how many demo dashes it can do. And with that, we do have a couple sponsor videos to show you. Keep those donations rolling in. We just passed $167,000, less than $8,000 to go. Come on, let's do it. to retro consoles, PCs to arcades, World 9 Gaming aims to provide the highest quality video gaming experience to events in the Midwest and beyond. With our mix of nostalgic and modern consoles, professional tournaments, an expansive game library, World 9 is ready to take your event to the next level. For information on booking and upcoming events, visit world9gaming.com and follow us on social media, World 9 Gaming. And I'm looking at the total. It's about to refresh. It currently says 172,000. So let's see if it refreshes. If we're there, give it a few seconds. And we've made it! We have Celeste! Thank you, everybody who donated. Keep that hype going. We're going to toss it over to TaskBot with...